the song that you were just listening to is the start of the song taking care of business i hope that you are all taking care of business and you are getting a lot of work done this is all information you are going to need to know so it's easier to probably learn it now while i'm teaching it versus having to go back and learn when you need it for next year and into high school so this week you should be learning about ancient roman governments please make sure you look at the research questions the research questions are focused on things like their laws their forms of government like they had a republic it talks about whether or not like their taxes how they paid taxes who was in charge information about the military would all be government please make sure you look at these research questions to help you when you are doing this assignment so i did the same thing that i'm asking you to do i spent some time looking at the various youtube videos websites the textbook etc and i found out a lot of great information about ancient rome's governments so they were a republic they were actually the first republic and they had a kind of a slogan that was called s p q r which stood for the senate and the people of rome they had three branches of government just like we have so obviously we took that idea from the romans they had a senate just like we have a senate had consuls and the tribune and sometimes you may hear it called the Council of Plebs. They also at one point in their history had a dictator. They had monarchs, they had kings and queens, they had emperors who were in charge of the empire. So Rome actually had a lot of different types of governments through the years. So the Republic was not their only type of government, they actually had a variety of governments just like the other civilizations we've studied this year they had a lot of different emperors or rulers like you may have heard of names of things like julius caesar who was a well-known dictator who ended up being killed by his own friends um so if you've heard of him, that's Julius Caesar. Some people really liked him, thought he did a lot of good things. Other people thought he was trying to get too powerful. They also had ruling groups called triumvirates, and those were three-person ruling groups. Like tri means three. So triumvirates were three-person ruling groups. They had two of those throughout history. Some of the issues that they had in Rome were there was issues with inflation. They also, for their economy, did some bartering, trading of goods and services. They had laws called the 12 tables, which were written down so that all Roman citizens could see them. And actually back then, a lot of Roman citizens could read and write more so than in other ancient civilizations. The idea of rule of law comes from the 12 tables. Rule of law means to treat people fairly. So whether you were a patrician, the highest class, or a plebeian, the lower class, everybody was treated fairly. They came up with the idea of a jury system that everybody was proven innocent. They were innocent until they were proven guilty. So they had to go to court where a judge and a jury would decide their fate after hearing all the evidence. So similar to what we have in the United States, where you are innocent until a judge and a court and a jury find you guilty. They had army and they had um, legions, which were smaller units of the army that had about 6,000 soldiers. Think about back in the day, how difficult it would have been to, without technology, without a lot of ways to communicate, have an army that was too big. So they set up these smaller units, which were easier to manage. Every male citizen who owned land had to serve in the army. 
And if you did not serve in the army or deserted, they had harsh punishments. They did have various wars throughout history, like the Punic Wars. They also had another code of law called Justinian's Law, which was a reformed legal system so that people could understand it better. And it heavily influenced other countries and other civilizations. In ancient Rome, if you were a citizen, you had a lot of rights that were protected under the law. Not everybody could get full citizenship. And if you did not have full citizenship, you would have had less rights. They did have pretty severe punishments if you committed crimes. They also did have prisons. I talked about how important the Roman Republic was to the United States. Our ideas of things like checks and balances, separation of powers, term limits, elections, came from the ancient Romans. Ancient Roman women did have some limited rights. They could not vote or hold public office, but they could own property and businesses. And some of the important Roman rulers were people like Julius Caesar, Octavian, um, Emperor Justinian, Constantine, people like Caligula and Nero, who actually were not the nicest of guys. The Romans also came up with the idea of a census, just like we have, which we would have done back in April. So it was a way to count people, and they use those the census results to decide how much you paid in taxes. And that census helped to put people in the military. There's a ton more information that you could find out in your research. I just kind of did a quick summary of some things right here. You can find out a little bit more about the 12 tables, look to see if they're kind of similar or different than the Code of Hammurabi. And you can certainly find out a lot more information about Rome's Republic. I hope you learned some good information to help you with your notes. And as I would normally say in class, pack up, clean up, check your AOR. I hope everybody has a great day. Adios.